David Livaday, <laughs> welcome to Zuma Beach and yeah, No Limit Van Life. I'm gonna show you, these are the easiest solar panels to put on a vehicle. Anybody can do it. You're gonna peel and stick them. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, I ran this one over with my car. It still works perfectly. More on that later. Today. Mom bought me these pants yesterday. Keep me from getting bit by mosquitoes. Cooler than my shorts. Running pants from Target. Van life in front of my parents. I haven't showered in a couple days. Bougie RV heard your call. Ivan hooked it up. The 500 watt walkable deck. This is a 100 watt solar panel. They didn't have it in stock. It shows up here on my birthday. I'm a lot closer to getting this van air conditioned in 90 to 100 degree weather. I'll take a shower. You're probably wondering why my Air conditioners, all I had to cut out was this. Any other way, I would have had to cut out structural steel, weaken the door. Another benefit, water dripping away from the van. Oh. Parked in my parents' driveway. Preparing for my first colonoscopy. MC4 connector on one end, stripped wire on the other. Pre-stripped. The 100 watt. Super sticky material comes off onto this side of the panel when you roll it up, cover it up. The inside's the same as the outside. It's a 200 watt panel. Let me measure. 13, wait, what? 13 and 3 quarters, 25 and a half. If Bougie RV sent me a dozen of these panels, I would lay them out next to my van. They're very long, taller than me. Where do I put it? I'm gonna demonstrate that I can take this 100 watt panel, roll it up very small. How gnarly is this? Tape, the edge of it, will come off on the face of the panel. That's why I'm leaving the packaging on. That was really easy to do considering this is the first time I've ever rolled this thing up. This is one of my little tool bags. There it is. See if this panel works. Yes. Thanks. I covered up right there, Renogy. I've tried to contact them. They completely ignore me, so they're getting covered up. New system, no matter where you are, you can check on your battery and your system and see how it's working. They want a monthly payment. After you've spent thousands of dollars, look, Renogy, get your app to work right before you ask me to give you monthly payments to use it. There we go. That's what's up. Above Brittany's head is the ground. Plate that I have everything else mounted on is ground. Self-tapping screw. Any metal that's attached to the chassis. Ask me in the comments. Or send me a picture on Instagram. No Limit Van Life. Eight gauge cables. Not only combine the solar panels into a thicker cable, the excess to run from charge controller to the battery. Eight gauge is perfect. These things work pretty good. Can't even pull the wire out. Battery is right here. Bougie Bouge RV 500 watt walkable roof deck. They're like, hey, that's a great idea. We'll send you those panels. This thing showed up on my birthday. And then they sent me an email. Could you run it over with your car? Seriously? What was that? Maybe I should have left the protective thing on. It looks like nothing happened to it. Let's see if this panel still works. Tester, they tag the wires, positive and negative, so you know for sure. Trying to scare me to death. Okay, how small can I roll this big panel? You can damage the panel if you try to roll it the other way. Always roll it panel out. Ow! It's really small. All protected. Got it in a little bag. You throw it around. You don't have to worry about it breaking.
<laughs> Cables, Bouge RV scent. This is 100% copper. These are gonna go behind the wall. For now, I'm just gonna let them sit. That's installed. Tomorrow, I, all I gotta do is get the panels up there. There today. Things are so convenient. Can't make a mistake. Snap in and out really easily. They make it foolproof. Since I ran over this thing, need to test it. Negative goes into the negative. Black wire, positive. Red wire to the positive, which is labeled right there. No chance you can make a mistake. We're also testing out the MPPT that I installed last night. Second light came on, showing the battery and the solar panels are connected. 7.9 amps. Gotta test this 100 watt panel. Plugged in. 44 watts. Probably shouldn't have ran over it on the dirt road. Nobody's gonna see it on the road. Clip to pry open. You're not gonna need to worry about it and just plug them in and then be done. Signs of damage, but still producing the power it's supposed to. You're thinking, I already got my solar system. Don't wanna get into it. You don't have to get a larger charger every time you add more panels. Whether it's lithium ion, lead acid, any type of battery. And this system will work together. Charging the same battery. You don't have to go buy that giant MPPT that you thought you needed. It's 11.30 out in full sun. I'm a little worried that I've done some damage to the panel. The negative one is really easy to unclip. Pinch this, it comes out. If you're just testing, don't clip it all the way in. Almost in, it'll make contact so that you can test it. Wait until you're permanently installing it before you do the full click. They're not fully clicked in 125 watts. Panels rarely put out their full output. Certain times of the year, I can hook up way more panels than I thought I could into the equipment that I already had. Get more panels than you think. My dad let me use these magnets to keep the wind from getting underneath these panels, making them fly up. All I used to hold them on was magnets. Of course. These magnets are just gonna rust. You could always invest in the, the rubberized magnets. This is so exciting. You put a sign there, not a step. Gone, dangerous area. Love the way this thing looks. Tomorrow I'm gonna mess with the wiring in series, parallel. I might actually end up using two MPPTs. The issue, two 200 watt panels and one 100 watt panel. It sees them as three 100 watt panels. I might just end up having the 100 watt go to a different MPPT since I have extras. The MPPT from Bougie RV, over 100 volts. I could totally wire this in series. I might try that tomorrow. Still haven't found the black piece that I'm gonna put across the back. I want it to be just right. If you do hang it off the back and you decide to use plastic, it looks really good. It looks a lot like the window looks. It's real shiny. Definitely get polycarbonate plexiglass cracked over in the corner. Polycarbonate Lexan definitely wouldn't have cracked. The metal bar that I used, one inch aluminum, one eighth inch thick here and one yeah, there's two. I wired everything in series. Knew it probably wasn't gonna help. 500 watt array, 168 watts. Same as the 350 watt array. It thinks it's three 100 watt panels. The way that I've solved it in the past is by adding another MPPT. One MPPT for your 100 watt panels, another for your 200 watt panels. Really not a bad idea. Say you put an MPPT on each solar panel, your MPPT would run that much cooler to produce less power. I'm gonna plug in the one 100 watt panel into this MPPT. Total up the 500 watts and see what we're getting. From the two 400s, 220, 55, so that's 275 from the 500 watt array. The 350 watt array, 188 watts. I thought there was gonna be just enough room, but less than 64 inches. Wish I would have put the 100 watt on top of both of them. It would have looked more like this, a little cleaner. It's sound deadening, dead into my roof. 
when it rains, it's not going to be so loud. Definitely stealth. There's a shot from the other side. Whether you think that this thing is stealth or not, rust is totally factory. I'm pretty stealth. If this was my work truck, I would probably still put some solar panels and uh, an AC. I had to move it in the sun, test these panels out. 259 watts, 800 watts of power with all my panels. Bouge RV MPPT, two lights, that one's panel, one's battery. This is all you have to do. Bluetooth button up here. You're looking for Charge Pro. Hit connect, boom, connected. That easy. I'm running my air conditioner and I'm charging. 54.8, let's see what it is in a little while. This degreaser, I love it. See how these come out. They get all the waxes on them. You don't want to clog up the pump for your washer. Better yet, go to a coin laundry. As I say, not as I do. I used them on the roof perfectly clean and protected. We've been charging for a couple hours. Everything all together, we're doing over 800 watts. Freezing in here, we're parked in the sun. What's the temperature in Northridge? Northridge is 86 degrees. And we're at 61.4%. It's 420. I've got 65.6% in my battery. The AC's been on all day. We don't know if we have enough to get through a 100 degree day. Ticket that I got in Malibu, they wrote the plate wrong. A B instead of an R. I don't have to pay the $73. Happy birthday to me. I think is gonna be the most common purchase. Two, six, 200 watt on MPPT and extension cables. You won't need anything else. You wire panels in series, extra extension cable wire, cut off some of it, MPPT to your battery. With these three items, you have everything you need to charge any kind of battery. And this company also has this great air conditioner. It says that it's extremely quiet. Portable air conditioners are loud. It's an air conditioner that I can run stealthily inside the van. Nobody will hear it outside. This is the kit they sent me. Everything you need for a 500 watt walkable deck. The 100 watt panel, extension cables, two 200 watt, two MPPTs for the 100 watt and one for the 200 watts is for $1,714, a 500 watt walkable deck. Only other one I know of, Tiny Watt Solar, $5,000. I don't know how much the installation is on this solar deck, but I do know that anybody can do this. Take these extension cables, run them over your back door. The door will still shut, won't have any water leaks. Anybody can install the system on their own. If you need help, Come by the pad, I'll hook you up. It's only gonna cost you $17.13 instead of 5K. Don't wanna forget MP4 inline fuses. They make it so convenient. They're not expensive, 13, 14 bucks. Bouge RV has self-heating batteries. 530, 100 amp hour, 12 volt battery. My dream come true. You can install them outside the van and they're completely protected. This is exciting. Turn off the husk for a second. Oh, that feels like a lot. Yeah, I got me a new drone. My parents, because they've done so much to help me. There's a lot of talk being like trust fund kids, act like they don't have money, show you in detail how I'm able to do this. Everybody around me that's helping. I built this for a little over 30K. The control is one of the main reasons we got this. How big is the drone itself? That's the whole thing? I'm so happy. 444 and 300, 744, 10 amps from 300 watt Tokyo. I'm producing over a thousand watts of power. And I couldn't do that at home where it was almost 100 degrees. Two 200 watt SIGS panels. And I know that they'll produce over 10 amps easy. It's over 20, shows me I'm doing good. 300 watts, good this time of year. All the 100 watt panels. And this is the 350 watts from Renogy. On this 400 watt array, 65 watts more power. You couldn't do this before. The ridges, I could be up here for an entire NASCAR race and just relax. <laughs> I thought there were fireworks, I was like, uh, so strong. My 
my back feels better sleeping on this. Cushions I was on were the same thing, but the fabric that were wrapped around them gave it a different feel, feels better. The bed did come all the way out to here. You can still do that, I just gotta flip up the, put the board out. Tucked under here, bulkhead holds them in place. Normally parked over there. Kitty litter and I double bagged. I'm allowed clear broth. My mother, chicken soup that she made, strained it out. I'm allowed to eat jello. I just went to the bathroom for the first time. A colonoscopy is gonna require some sort of black water containment. A valid excuse to get a hotel or something. Early detection, it's very important. Back from the colonoscopy, gas build up. Drink coffee right after if you're used to drinking coffee because my head was feeling weird, I didn't know why. Now I feel better.